Namaste everyone and welcome to Data Millennials. Hey everyone, welcome back to our Google Data Studio series. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a donut chart in Google Data Studio. So let's go to our Google Data Studio first. So in our previous video, we have created this pie chart, right? And in this video, we will be creating a donut chart first for the gender dimension and then we will create the donut chart for the city. So before we create this donut chart, we should know that what exactly a donut chart is or what exactly donut chart meant. Basically, it meant to express a part to whole relationship where all pieces together represent a hundred percent. It works best to display data with a smaller number of category, either from two to five or two to seven. So as we had discussed in our previous video, pie chart as well as donut chart displays the data where the number of categories are less. For example, you could use a donut chart to plot survey questions where a small number of answered answers has been given where you can represent the data is split by gender as we had shown in our previous video or for example you can show a donut chart where you want to show the bifurcation of ages from 5 to 10 then then 10 to 15 and 15 to 20 so we will have our donut chart show the data representation effectively only when we will have a small number of categories when we talk about donut chart it should be avoided when there are many categories and when the categories do not sum, sum up to 100% so for example when you have five categories for example category 1 till category 5 and there is a data missing for category number 3 we should not use donut chart or pie chart in that situation while we are talking about donut chart we should know the pros and cons of donut chart also if we talk about the pro of donut chart it's very simple and compact representation it can give us a read at a glance view and it's very easy to represent our data while the cons are it's difficult to compare relative size of the slices when you create a donut chart you won't be able to compare the relative size of that particular chart slices and once the data become cluttered and dense and the new categories are added you won't be able to basically get the insights from a single donut chart so let's go and create a donut chart first and see what are the complications or what we can get out from this donut chart in order to create a donut chart what you need to do is that you need to click on this add a chart button then under this pie you will see this donut chart click on it and then you will have this option you can drag it anywhere on the canvas so for example i'm i want this donut chart here so first what i will do is that i will create the donut chart for the gender dimension in our previous video i have shown you that there were somewhat around 55 percent of female in our transactional data right and we have in this donut chart i'll again represent the same thing but currently by default we have this card type so let's talk about this card type and then i'll i'll create another donut chart with the gender data now within within our card type we had four type of cards silver signature platinum and gold when you had created this donut chart you will see that okay 26 around 26 percent of people having a silver card 24% of people had signature card, 24% of people have platinum card and 24% of people have golden card. So almost the data is equally distributed, right? So our card type is equally distributed with our customers. Now, the thing is that if we want to check within this that how many male have these cards we won't be able to do it because 
Google Data Studio doesn't provide us the flexibility to do a complex visualization. With this donut chart, we won't be able to put the bifurcation of gender. That's why donut chart or pie chart is not used in the complex visualization dashboards. When you have a simple category from 1 to 5, you can use donut charts. And when you have a subcategories, representation of subcategories, then we won't be using a donut chart. But if you have to show a donut chart, I have shown you the way how you can create a donut chart. Now, let's create a new donut chart with gender. Okay. So, I have created a donut chart and currently it's taking the expense type. So, we had talked about that we will take gender, right? So, what I will do is that I will select gender in dimension. Okay. Now, we are getting 47% of male and 52% of female. So, with this simple categorization of gender and with this simple categorization of the card type, we can get our answers and we can get our insights that what is the population of our customer which is having a silver signature platinum or gold type of card and what is the population of female within our customer and male in our customer now if you want to sort this donut chart for example if you want to sort this donut chart based on the record value first of all if you currently this entire donut this sorry this donut chart has been is showing you data at a count level okay so it's showing the data at a count level and it's getting the percentage at a count level now if i want to sort this donut chart either in ascending or descending by default it's showing the record count if you want to select some other type for example i want to sort the data based on a card type name i can select the card type as i have shown you you can select card type the second if you want to sort the data as ascending or descending you can select ascending or descending now if you want to apply a date filter range you can go to custom and then select a date range for example if i want to select from september august 1st of 2020 until august october 20 october 2020 first october 2020 then i can select these dates and click on apply but in in this situation in this with this data dashboard i don't want to select any date okay so i'll click cancel now if you want to add any particular filter you can click on this add a filter and for example if i want to create the filter only for india as i have shown in my previous video we can create a new filter and when we can name the filter as India I want to include a particular country right so I'll be using include then select a field as country of customer and then select the condition which will be equals to I'll select I'll input India and then I'll click on save so you will see the numbers won't differ as it was earlier because our data is equally distributed. Now our filter has been applied. Now if you want to do some styling what you can do is that you can click on styles. It has the same style option as of pie chart. So you will have options of slicing it till 20 slices. By default it will take 10 slices. You, if you want to change the color you can select a single color and if you want to change this color if you want to change this from blue to red you can select it by clicking on this small square box you can select the color okay now if you want to change the color based on the slice order you can select the second option if you want to change the color by dimension values you can click on this okay now for example if i select this slice order and if I want to change this blue color which is signature as of 
this yellow color I can select this one okay and my color has been changed right now if you want to change the color of label you can use this the slice font color it will be changed so for example if I change the font color as suppose if I give this as white you can see that the font for this has been changed as white right now and the size you can change it from here okay so with this uh, currently I will select auto based on the requirement you can select the size of the font if you want to change the font style you can click on this and change the font style for example I'll select this one okay now the thing is that if you want to show the percentage only you can select this one percentage by clicking on this button you can select percentage or you can select the label okay and the another option is value it will directly show you the count of the value for example for silver we have 1005 for signature we have 935 customers right so let's keep percentage here if you want to change the background color you can select here and change the background color for example if I'm selecting this one and the border color as black with the border style of 5 if you want to change the legend style legend fonts you can go to legends and then select the font color for example if I select the font color as this deep black and the legend style okay so with this selecting this Tahoma has a legend font you can see that the fonts has been changed now if you want the alignment of the fonts for example currently it's middle if I select top you will see that the font has sorry this legends has been shifted to top if I select it as bottom it will go to bottom but it's better to select middle currently right the number of max number of lines is based upon how many subcategories you have for your legends or how many sub sorry how many categories you have for your dimensions now if you want to show the chart header you can use this one and the chart font so this is how you basically create a donut chart if you click on view you will see that you will have this donut chart and it will show you the percentage of the categories similarly you will have similarly we had created this donor chart for male population and female population of our customer so we have reached at the end of this video in our next video i'll show you how you can create a google map in google data studio hey if you find this video insightful then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button